Good morning, everybody. Well, it's that time of the week again when we give away another recipe to all of you at home. It happens to be one of my favorite segments because I love to cook, and more importantly, I love to eat. Who doesn't? This week, we're taking you down to Perry to a place called The Perfect Pear. Owner of The Perfect Pear in Perry, Megan Brent, does what she loves, and that's cooks. First and foremost, we are a caterer. Ever since the restaurant opened in 2009, folks from all over Middle Georgia have stopped in for a bite to eat. We have customers that come to see us every Tuesday. We have customers that come to see us every day. And it's certainly rewarding for me to know that people take the time to drive from Warner Robins, Macon. When I have to choose real food, <laughs> it's a toss because it's all really good. But if these women could eat dessert for lunch, it would have to be the perfect creme brulee. It's just yummy. It's everything that you, you know, want to eat. Unfortunately, it's full of calories, but they say they take the calories out there, so I believed them. Kind of melts in your mouth, and there's a special, special, special. Because I think it's something that people think is extremely difficult to make, and it's not at all. The recipe doesn't call for much. Heavy cream, egg yolks, sugar, and vanilla. The fun part is using one of these. But if you don't have a torch... I suggest that you put the, creme, the cold creme brulee just in a regular oven under the broiler. Keep a very close eye. I, I, it probably won't take more than about 30 seconds. The best part is indulging yourself in the hard work. It is a labor of love. And um, I think that it shows when you put your heart and soul into, into anything that you do. And joining us this morning is the owner of The Perfect Pair down in Perry. We've got Megan Brent with us. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. morning. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you so me. much for being on the show this morning. Okay, Megan, so we've got the creme brulee that we talked about in the story. Looks amazing. Thank you. Talk to us about it. Well, I think, like we said in the piece, it's so much easier to make than people think. The hardest part about creme brulee is waiting for it to be done. You have to wait for the milk and the cream to cool, and then you have to wait for hours or overnight mm -hmm. for it to set. Um, but that's really the hardest part. It's it's not hard at all, I think, because it is such a decadent, decadent dessert that people think that it's hard. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, and we made it at her restaurant yeah. just a f cute couple days ago, and it, I mean, it was fairly easy. Pretty it was. easy? Yeah. So what's all in creme brulee? I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a very fancy kind of guy. I'm more like <laughs> well, there's milk and cream. Oreo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a milk and Oreos. I don't do creme brulee, so well, what's we'll, all in this? Well, you'll be a champ with this after okay. you. It's very easy. <laughs> um, heavy cream? Mm -hmm. eggs, and sugar. That's it? That's it. Wow. That's it. And like I said, the hardest part is waiting. Uh, it's not It's not a difficult dessert at all. Okay. So. okay. And Kyle, if you have not had creme brulee Which I yet, haven't. okay. <laughs> The best part, in my opinion, is the top. It the, is. The hardened sugar, which Megan is going to demonstrate. We will. How I'll do, do that, that for you now. And and I, I see we've, we have fire. Keep Go we, ahead. We, we will have fire. We will have fire. <laughs> our, our boss might are be you, mad Are you us. allowed to use the torch? Um, because we'll let you. It should be fine. We'll find, it's probably fine. <laughs> we just do, do, here we're just <laughs> using a little regular granulated sugar. We're okay. going to put it on top. Well, watch the paper, though. Yeah. Let's, let's make sure we're all right here. I'm a professional, sir. <laughs> you professional Oh, good shot of that, too. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. And then you just sort of torch it, moving around. Can now we can maybe tilt our Yeah, say, can we tilt it towards this camera over here? And, sure. and show our viewers at home. Sort of t torch that and let it set for a few seconds. Can you hold, yep, tilt it that way. Cool. Good. Now, Megan, and that's all it is, tell huh? us what happens if, if we don't have a torch at home. You mentioned that you could stick it in the oven on broil, on right? On broil. I would certainly watch it. It is sugar and mm -hmm. um, sugar. I hope we don't have smoke detectors. Burns quickly. <laughs> well, I hope we do, but... There's your professional <laughs> caterer. Okay. <laughs> and I want to talk about the restaurant a little bit also. You guys are open for lunch Monday through Thursday, 11 we are to 2. 11 to 2. But um, tell us why why that is. We have odd hours because, first and foremost, we are a caterer. Mm -hmm. And um, those hours, Monday through Thursday, allow us to focus on caterings on the weekends, which obviously most weddings happen on Saturdays. And there's a great deal of preparation, so we need Thursday evenings, Fridays to, to prepare for these. Right, okay. and there's events. an event coming up that you also wanted to talk about, right? I did, I wanted to tell you all Does about the, uh, no. No, you eat that with a spoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can you really are. tell Kyle's never had creme brulee before. It's okay. Okay, no, we got about start. 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. uh, the Georgia the Industrial Children's Home, um, I will be the caterer for a farm to table event there. 
Um, it is May 5th, and you can go to www.twinseaters.org for information. So I think that's a great cause, and we're happy to be a part of it. For sure. So, and something else delicious. I want to put, yeah, it's really good, right? Something else <laughs> I want to plug really quickly, we've got the Dogwood Festival coming up this Indeed. weekend, mm -hmm. and okay. your restaurant will be opened on Sunday. We will be, right, we'll be open on Sunday because we have a wedding on Saturday, so that's why we have just one day during that. Okay, 